Hello and welcome to this another tutorial on how to draw a quad network. First of all, we'll leave some place where we can put the question over here. It is a big question, it is a bit complex, it is a complex in the sense that it is different. So I'll put the question over here. You can go through the question, I'll zoom it. You can go through it or even you can pause the video and read the question once. Now, please do remember to leave your comments, leave your queries, do like the video and subscribe the channel and just read the question. So probably now you have gone through this question. Now this question looks like a bit different from our conventional questions where we have activities as in A, B, C, D, the predecessors or activities in shape of 1 and 2. So this is a bit different. If you go through it, a train starts from Bikaner for Jaipur at 9 am. Another train starts from Sujangad at 9.30. So it is a different scenario. Here we have events given to us. Now those events are like the first event is a train leaves Bikaner Sorry, it is 9. A train leaves Bikaner at 9 am. Certain vehicles are added to this train at Nagor. So this train travels to Nagor where certain additional wagons will be added. The wagons added at Nagor are of a train leaving Sujangad at 9.30. So another train left Sujangad at 9.30 This train has travelled to Nagore and from this train we are putting in some bogies into this train that is travelling from Bikane At Nagore are of a train leaving Sujandar at 9.30 and reaching Nagore at 12.30 So these two trains are combining here at 12.30 Journey time from Bikane to Nagore is 2 hours and 15 minutes. Now if you look here, there can be a doubt that the train left at 9, it takes 2 hours and 15 minutes, it should be here by 11.15. But we are talking of 12.30. Now we are talking of 12.30 because this train probably is coming late. So either this train travelled slowly or this train departed late or this train is waiting over here. For X, Y, Z reason, these two trains will combine at 12.30. We will see if some reasons are evident. So here we have 12.30, 9.30, 9, 2 hours and 15 minutes. In this train, further wagons are added at Fulera. This train travels further to Fulera. This train reaches Fulera after 3 hours. It takes 3 hours. So 12 and 3, it reaches 15.30. So it is 3.30 pm. So in the noon at 3.30 it reaches Fulera. The train reaches Fulera after 3 hours. You can see the question over here. The train reaches Fulera after 3 hours of leaving Nagore. The wagons added at Fulera come from Ajmer. The wagons that we have added over here are coming from another city, Ajmer. Why? The wagons added are coming from the journey time from Ajmer to Fulera is 2 hours. It is 2 hours and train leaves Ajmer at 12.30. So train left at 12.30, 2 hours, it should have been here at 14.30 but it is here at 15.30. So probably this train arrived early and it is waiting for the train coming from Nagore or whatever is the scenario. From here it looks like that it reached here at 14.30 and it is waiting for the train to come from Fulera. Sorry, Nagor. The journey time from Nagor to Fulera is 2 hours. Train leaves Ajmer at 12 Journey time from Fulera to Jaipur is 2 hours. So now, finally, this train moves for Jaipur. The journey time is 2 hours. So it leaves at 15.30. Here it will be by 17.30, which is 5.30. PM. So this is all the information that is given in our question. 
Now they are saying show the network diagram of the above given situation. This is our network diagram of the above given situation using CPM. Also calculate different time estimates. What are different time estimates? We need to find out early start times and latest start times for all these stations. Now this is 9.30 and 12.30. This is 9 and 2.15. So it should have been here by 11.15. But it is coming here by 12.30. So this means that this journey is taking 3 hours. 9.30 plus 3 is 12.30. So now we can make out that this train probably reached Nagaur earlier. But it was waiting for the train from Sujangar. Remaining all times are done. We have durations for all the journeys. We have destination times for all locations sources and destinations. Now let us find out earliest start times and latest start times. Now if you remember concepts of pertinent CPM, we need to travel from first point to last point. From start of journey to completion of journey. Now there are quite a few starting points because trains are coming from different ways. This is an unconventional question from generally what we see in CPM. Now this is a starting point, Jaipur is the ending point, Sujangar is a starting point, Jaipur is an ending point, Ajmer is a starting point, Jaipur is an ending point. So we will see which one of all these three journeys is the longest. This journey starts at 9, 2 hours and 15 minutes, 12.30, 3, 3 to 5, 5 and 2, 7. 7 hours and 15 minutes. 3 hours, 3 into 5 hours, 5 into 7 hours, 15 minutes. This journey is taking 7 hours and 15 minutes. This journey is taking 3 and 3, 6 into 8 hours. So 7 hours, 15 minutes for Pekanir, Nago, Fulera, Junction. How much? 7 hours and 15 minutes. Then we have Sujangar, Nago, Fulera and Jaipur, it is taking 3, 3, 6 and 2, 8 hours. And then last there is Ajmer, Fulera and Jaipur. Ajmer, Fulera and Jaipur, it is taking me 4 hours. So now the concepts or basics remain the same. Which is the longest path? This is my critical path, SNPJ. So Jangar. How do we represent our critical path by double arrow? This is my critical path. Now what we do? We make a forward pass and a backward pass. Forward pass, earliest time. Suppose it starts at 9.30. It takes 3 hours, it will be here by... Uh, let us put over there. 12.30. 12.30. 3 more hours, it will be here by 15.30, 15.32 more hours, it will be here by 17.30. Now if you remember the concepts properly, this being a critical path, it has no slacks and floats. So its earliest times, earliest start times, latest start times, they all become same for this critical. So 9.30, 12.30, 15.30, 17.30. Now if I start my, this was my forward pass. Now let me start my backward pass. Being critical, it will still start with 17.30. 17.30 minus 2, 2 hours. 15.30, 15.30 minus 3 hours. 12.30, 12.30 minus 3 hours. 9.30. So as far as, so, Jangar to Jaipur is concerned, there are no leverages. These are earliest and latest scheduled times. If I talk of Bikane, now Bikane, you can start your journey at 900. It takes you 2 hours and 15 minutes. You will be here by 11 hours and 15 minutes, but you cannot start this further journey at 11.15. Your further journey can only start at 12.30. So, you are stuck with 12.30. If you remember in forward pass, we always take the larger values. So should I put a 9 plus 2, 11.15 or 12.30? Being a forward pass, we will put a larger value, that is 
What about Here you see some cards related to the video you just watched. Feel free to browse across them. Please do leave your queries and suggestions in the comments section below. We would try to address them and learn from them. And do press the subscribe button below if you have not already subscribed. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.